the Bible teaches, there is a final destination for the people of God, and also for those who choose to reject him. Paul summed it up this way, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through the Messiah Jesus our Lord. The contrast is between life and death, immortality and mortality. The Bible teaches that God is immortal. He alone can never die. God wanted to give humanity immortality, but we sinned. We were banished from the Garden of Eden, preventing us from eating of the tree of life. God loves us, but he does not want unrepentant sinners to live forever. So the fate of unrepentant humanity is to die. Like Adam, we each will return to the ground. For you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. The book of Revelation provides the last word on unrepentant sinners. Anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is a place of total destruction. It is the second death. But there is good news. Remember, the free gift of God is eternal life through the Messiah Jesus. You see, one day Jesus will return to this earth and God will raise back to life all those who died in faith. The believers who have died will rise from their graves. God's people will be alive and given immortality, and we will be like Jesus after his resurrection. Our mortal bodies transformed into immortal bodies. We will be here with Jesus to transform the world for God. They reign with the Messiah for a thousand years. And eventually, heaven will come down and merge with the earth. John said in Revelation, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. The earth will be recreated. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And God himself will be among us. God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. Amazingly, The Bible teaches that our destiny is in our hands. The choice is left up to us, life or death, immortality or mortality, heaven or hell.